my name is Morgan and welcome to Honey Lion Studio. Today we are going to be working on cartwheels. You do not need to be flexible to a cartwheel, you do not need to have your splits, you do not need to be super strong. It's really just all about momentum and balance. So let's go ahead and get started. I have a yoga mat down, but I would recommend doing cartwheels on something soft. So the grass or a rug or a soft blanket, maybe not a blanket because it might move, but just something soft. Cartwheels are easy, I promise. Don't be nervous. First, we have to figure out what leg you are going to cartwheel on. You're either gonna put your right foot in front or your left foot in front. You might know this already if you dance. It's usually gonna be your more dominant side. And if you do yoga, or any kind of stretching, it's usually your more flexible side, the side you feel a little bit more comfortable with. But another really fun way you can figure it out, put your right foot forward, put your hands up, and start to lean forward. If this feels a little scary, great. Put your right foot back. Take your left foot and put it forward in front of you, and lean forward, and come back up. You don't even have to go all the way down to the ground and bring it back in. Whichever side felt less scary, that's the side you're gonna go with. You might have to do this a couple times to figure it out, but just test your balance. So putting one foot forward and leaning forward a little bit, if this way feels harder or scarier, might not be for you. Putting your left foot forward, reaching towards the ground and coming back up. One side is probably gonna feel a little bit more natural. If you're having a hard time deciphering which side is easier, that's okay. We're gonna work on both and you'll know very shortly. Cartwheels come in five steps. Step one, your front leg goes out. So this is the leg we're going to cartwheel on. I'm a lefty, so I put my left foot in front. You put your hands up in the air. Step two, you bring your same hand as foot that's in front. So my left foot is in front, so my left hand is going to come down. You're gonna put that hand down on the ground. Step three, you put your opposite hand down on the ground. Now notice how my fingers are both facing the same way. You want your palms to be both going in the same direction and you want your wrists to be directly under your shoulders. So you don't want them to be too far apart and you don't want them to be too close together. Just a comfortable distance apart. Step four, that back leg is gonna come across and land on the other side. And step five, you're standing all the way up. Easy. Most important part when you're doing a cartwheel, your first hand that goes down is the same as the leg that's in front. And the first leg that comes down is your back leg. So do not get into the habit of putting your hands down and hopping over, keeping that same foot that's in front, moving to the other side. You want to switch your feet. So we're gonna get started here. If you feel more comfortable, if you feel like your face is gonna fall into the earth, get a pillow and just put it down. I promise you are stronger than you think you are and that probably will not happen, but if it makes you feel better, do so. So step one, put one foot in front. If you're still deciding what foot is your good foot, just pick a foot, start somewhere. Put your hands up in the air, put your front hand down, your first hand, and put your second hand down. And now we're gonna do a little kick. So you're gonna have to put some weight on your hands and you're gonna switch your feet. So we're gonna go kick and switch and stand up. Let me do that one more time. I'm gonna try to do it without talking so you can just watch. So we go step one, hand, hand, up, foot, foot, up. Yeah, I think you can do it. The, when you go, when you're going over, when you're switching your feet, you have to put a little weight onto your hands. So if you've ever done a handstand, you'll know that when you go to balance on your hands, you have to push over a little bit, right? You have to get, if I just put my hand down on the ground, my shoulder isn't on top of my wrist. So when we do a cartwheel, we have to go over 
a little bit, right? We have to bring those shoulders up over those hands. So you have to trust yourself to go forward. Ideally in a cartwheel, your hips and your shoulders and your hands are all in one straight line. You're like this, but upside down. So let's try again. If that foot felt really terrible and really hard, try the other foot. If it felt scary, but manageable, keep going. So you put your foot in front, pull your hands up, and we go. Hand, hand, kick, foot, foot up. I didn't even kick that time. Let's try it again. Hands up, and you go. Hand, hand, kick, foot, foot up. I have to say, it's a little harder doing it this way. Once you start getting your hips higher off the ground, it does become a little bit easier, but we're gonna work on up to that. So let's try it again. We start with our hands up. We go hand, hand, kick, foot, foot, and stand up. Let's work on that a few times. Just get it in your body, get comfortable doing this. Definitely cartwheels are not something you want to really do slowly because it's very hard to keep going. So if you're still working up to the jumping part, that's fine, but do note that it will be easier when you start getting a little bit more momentum. So to slow it down, if you're still scared about the jumping part, bring your hands down and then just do a little hop and switch over. Try to put both your hands down and then hop. If you feel comfortable with the jumping, try to do one hand, one hand. So break it up a little bit. Versus planting and then kicking over. So let's work on this a few times. Cartwheels are one of those things that just come with practice. Only cartwheel after you have stretched and after you have warmed up. And start from ground zero. Please do not throw yourself at the ground. Don't get frustrated with yourself. It will come, it will happen. You just have to practice. So you start right at the very beginning. Both hands, little kick, and coming up and eventually as you continue to do that, you continue to progress, you'll be able to move your hips more and more over towards your hands, which is the goal. Please, super, super, super pretty please, remember to switch your feet. I'm saying it because it becomes really easy to get used to doing a cartwheel and putting down your front foot first but once you get that habit in your body, it's very hard to break. So please remember to switch your feet so you don't wanna put your hands down and go like that. You wanna switch your feet. Your back foot needs to be the one that lands first every single time. I hope that you learned something from this cartwheel tutorial and I am here to help you. So if you are working on your cartwheels, or honestly really anything else, you can send me a video of you doing this over on Instagram at Honeyline Studio, or you can email me at morgan at honeylinestudio.com. It'll all be in the description down below. I would appreciate it if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel, and I hope you'll have a super wonderful, fantastic day.